Well, tonight I was servicing my kerosene heater. I figured, oh shit, better do a video. But, um, I've been working fine ever since I got it, pretty much. But this week, ever since it got under half a tank of fuel, it uh, wouldn't work as good, you know. The flame wouldn't be as high. So it was starving of fuel somewhere. So I figured time for a clean out. So I never really did it. Uh, it always worked fine. So I pulled it right down now, and there's a lot of dirt in the tank. And I figured that the wick well, where the wick sits, was blocked up, and oh yeah, it had an inch of dirt. So I got the trusty old pump, and pumped all the crap out, and flushed it all through. And as you can see, the kerosene doesn't look blue. It's quite black. So it should work heaps better. And now yeah, the wick should last a few more years. So I just use that bottle and just pour all the kerosene in and then flush it back and pump it out. So it's all nice and clean. No water, no dirt. It's good. Well, here's the wick. And there's the gear that makes it turn and it goes up and down. You can see it's old, but still square. Not all falling apart, so it still works. So, it gets a lot of use. And uh, there's the wick well. The wick goes down in there, and all that was full of dirt. And where's the torch? Back there, you see that little slit? That was pretty much blocked. So, once the fuel level got to a certain point, it couldn't fill up the well and run low on fuel. And it was all full of muck in there as well. So it's all cleaned out. And there's that wick there. That torch is just too bright. That wick there is just for the auto light, like it lights off the batteries. It's like a little thing that looks like a light globe but with no glass. And that heats up the wick until it lights, and then that lights the main wick. But I use a cigarette lighter these days. And it's got a fuel gauge. I'm in front of this heater. Good. So I can put it back together now. And, uh, yeah. Well, there we go. I filled it up. I'll probably squeeze another litre into it, but that'll do for now until I get it together. And, um, yeah, you can see where all the kerosene sits filled quite nicely so yeah I'll put the wick in it's usually fairly simple I clean the bottom of the wick with a nice clean rag so, get that on there twist it in get it lined up it's hard to do one hand normally use your other hand and push the gear in but there we go put the screw on Yeah, that's how it works. The gear turns on that little other gear and winds it up and down. It depends on flame height. Just like a kerosene lamp, a little bit different. They just use a little star wheel against the wick. Cool. Should work much better now. I thought I'd try and get a shot of the electric igniter if it's got enough electricity to, to ignite this kerosene. So it's around about 5 degrees Celsius. There we go. That's how it works. And if I had the main wick set, it would have lit it. Alright, let's set the main wick. Burner on top. There we go. That will run. That 
is running. That'll heat up red hot and vaporize all the kerosene up here and then burn very clean. But we won't let it do that quite just yet. I'll put it together. Oh, she's all back together. fashion technology. Now adjust the wick a little bit. Get down a touch. Gotta let the whole thing warm up properly. And there we go. Ah, oh, so nice doing well considering it's being pounded with ice cold air. I love the way it like, cooks your face. <laughs> then you walk away and you don't even feel the cold for a while because your face is sort of cooking. It's nice. Well, I think the newspapers arrived. I love the way they throw them. But yes, so nice. I think it's going to melt the camera soon so I better stop. Say the reason this thing's blocked up this week is because it gets moved around a lot lately. So I would have stirred up all the dirt and yeah, we just got blocked. Because yeah, I move it near wherever I'm working. It's been so damn cold. So it's pretty good, it just follows me around. It's nice. One tank usually lasts four days, five days. If I'm using it every day and every night. <laughs> 